Game development can be quite overwhelming at first when you're starting out and you are learning new things. I started this thing over 10 years ago to learn how to make games and I learned a few lessons I want to share with you. Now, in the background, you have me working on a game we're making, a tactical RPG game. I'm just working on some UI stuff. Feel free to watch it if you want. But this video is more about the message I want to give to you, how, to, how you can learn faster, how, how you can learn all these things that can be quite overwhelming and how can, how can you get through this. So the first thing is when you start out, it's quite exciting. You want to try new things. You want to learn the tech. The first thing you, you want to do is not be afraid of break, breaking things. Like just download the project, break things, move things around, play with parameters, play with creating new things. If you are learning like particle effects, use just change some parameters here and there to just play with it. Playing with it, it's a, it's a very nice way for you to learn how to use the tech and without any tutorial. Like this is how kids learn. They, they just build things and if it doesn't work, they just build it again. Uh, the same thing with, with Unreal. Like you wanna play with the tools, otherwise you're always gonna be afraid how to use them. Because when you play with them, like you already use it, your mind and let's just say your body are already connected. It's like, oh, okay, I, I just need to create this thing and this thing and this thing. And uh, it's just around playing with the tools. Now, the problem comes when you play a little bit with it and you want to create something, you know, something complex. Let's just say you want to create a game. Uh, you need a character. Uh, you need to decorate the environment and a lot of things. And this is when you become slow. This is when everything starts like going up and then suddenly it's like going down again. Now, why is that? Uh, game development, it's a mix of a lot of disciplines. And these disciplines not necessarily have anything to do with making games. We just use them and use these abilities to create the games we want. For example, I may study painting or sculpting and I may become a great artist, but that doesn't mean I need to work in games, right? I can just sell my portraits uh, in the park or whatever, right? Uh, that, that, that's a valid option. So game development, it's a lot of these things combined. For example, programming. Programming, you don't as, not everything needs to be a game when you program. You can program systems, you can program whatever. You can program a calculator, you can program a alarm, uh, airplane system, like whatever. Like you can do whatever with programming. Animation, you don't only need, uh, it has to do with art, it has to do with posing, it has to do with acting, not necessarily with games. So there are a lot of things that are not related to games, that, but we use them in games. This is the important part. So how do you get through this? When you're making a game and you don't have these abilities, then what happens is that you will get stuck. For example, if you are decorating your environment, you know how to download the assets from Quixel, you know how to create materials, you know how to do all these things. Let's just say you're a master of the engine. But it just doesn't look good, right? And you don't know why. And the reason is you don't have the knowledge that the artists have. You only have the very technical knowledge that everyone can learn. Everyone can learn how to use Unreal. If I teach you this button does this, uh, if I teach to 10 people how to do that, the 10 will know exactly what this button does, right? It's just A and B. But learning how to paint and a lot of things, it requires a lot of knowledge that it cannot be teach. It's not like a button you press here and automatically you paint something. Um, what you need to know is how to acquire specific knowledge. It's knowledge that is hard to transfer and it can only be acquired over 
periods of repetition and practice and over the years. For example, if I'm a painter or if I do art or whatever, and I keep doing it for years and I study the fundamentals and everything, then I will have a sharper eye to detect some things. So you want to learn the foundation of all these things. If you want to animate a character, learn how the foundation of animation works. Learn how the principles of animation works. Learn how posing, how, what's, how silhouette works, and all these fundamentals that we have created. Is, these are things that always work. So no matter what you're in animating in paper or you're animating in Unreal, uh, your animations will look good. Same with programming. You want to learn how, like, how to create variables, how to make logic. You want to develop your brain to think about very logical things. Um, and when you develop this part of your brain, then you can just program faster in Unreal. The same with painting or 3D or whatever. If you develop this eye, this, the next time you decor, decorate an environment, you will just be able to see more things. It's like intuition, right? You have done this so many times that you put a rock here and you say, it doesn't look good. And then you fix something and suddenly it all looks great. You want to develop this ability. This ability is not easy to get. There is no shortcut for that. Fundamentals takes years of practicing. But here's the thing, the, the problem that most people have is that they skip it and they make their journey much longer than what it should be. A person that is trying to make a game for years, um, let's just say, uh, for example, I didn't used to learn art before. I was just so focused on making 3D and the new tech. Of, oh, like let's learn 3D Max. Let, let's learn Maya. Let's learn how to how to use all these buttons and everything. And I knew how to use the software. I knew I knew how to use ZBrush. I know all the shortcuts. I have my customized UI and everything. And things don't look great. It's like I'm stuck there. And then. I stepped back and went to learn painting and fundamentals and all these things. And it didn't have to do anything with game development. I was just drawing, learning anatomy, learning perspective, drawing cubes. It's kind of boring, to be honest. Learning fundamentals is kind of boring. You want to learn the fun part. But sadly, fundamentals are like that. It, they are very boring and very repetitive. But after like maybe a year of doing that, I could see that even without doing games, even without doing any kind of 3D, like my level went like very high compared to where I was before I was here after learning fundamentals. I didn't even touch ZBrush for a year. Bam! ZBrush skills automatically upgraded. I don't even need to use, you know, the the latest version or any anything like that so this is the kind of knowledge that you cannot see it's very internal knowledge like this is when you see someone that has like instincts and it's like oh you just need to do this and it will fix it and then suddenly it does this is the thing that you want to achieve so when you have this knowledge it's easier to to learn you learn much faster like for example you never learn unreal before but you know how to program then suddenly you, you can just learn blueprints much faster or you never touch 3d in your life you always wear a painting and then suddenly you learn the 3d tools and bam you have like an amazing environment just after some months of learning the tool so Try to avoid things that teach you how to use tools and software because this hasn't this doesn't have much value. Almost very little value. I will say no value at all. You can learn this by yourself. There is manual, there is documentation. You can just learn how to use a tool. It's like learning how to, I don't know, wrap a pencil. Like you shouldn't pay for someone to teach you that, right? Um 
but what you want to focus on is to learn specific skills for fundamentals fundamentals are what will speed up the process think about it like if it's if this was a game and you have a passive skill where you just learn all the new skills faster this is the kind uh, of thing that learning fundamentals does to you so once you do the fundamentals you may want to practice something right you may want to have a little project for example i'm doing like a small game in my free time where i'm learning how to program and i'm learning the fundamentals first and then i'm going to apply it and it's used faster it's used faster when you learn the fundamentals and you learn how to how to use the program like the specifics of unreal engine and then you just create things and this will give you more confidence and you will always be learning faster now um Tech is always it's always changing. Tech is always evolving. Like some years ago, we didn't have Nanite. Now you have Nanite and Lumen and all these kind of things. It's just the way that it is. Like I start with Unreal Engine three. A lot of things have changed. There are people who have started before me. Uh, even more things change for them. Tech always change. Okay, so don't be afraid of it. Uh, try to experiment with new things a anytime that something new comes out uh you feel afraid i feel afraid like man i used to do things this way and now i need to learn another way to do things and it's scary because it's like i don't like what if it doesn't work right or what if i'm losing my time or whatever right and you don't really need to be afraid of it in my experience almost every time i start a new tech like researching and trying new things i end up noticing that oh actually these things helps me to make my games faster or whatever is it that i'm doing like if i'm doing tree modeling or whatever there is a new feature in zbrush where you can just simulate plot it's like oh it's a little bit hard to learn i just sculpt it manually and whatever and then when you learn it suddenly it's like oh this is great this is actually a, a great tool so don't underestimate the tech when when you have new tech coming out do not underestimate how much it can help you so don't be afraid of it and also if you have a good foundation then you go to learn new tech you will learn much faster and it's not the tech that is making uh, your things looking good for example if you are a very good painter and you paint nicely you will also make great things in unreal it doesn't matter what you use even if you don't not, you use nanite lumen or whatever these are used tools you don't need to really worry too much about them so these are mostly the advices i wanted to give to you um hopefully it's a different video from from what you've seen before we will make more tutorials more in the future uh, if you're waiting for those um i feel this this kind of thing is really important for you to learn and and yeah please if it's the first time you see this make sure to subscribe to learn more about game development and if you're having here with us for a while thank you for here thank you for being here and uh, remember we we have a course where we teach people that all the fundamentals of game development and how to create a game and we do like live sessions and all this kind of thing uh, make sure to check it out maybe maybe it will be helpful to you so i'm out and i will see you in the next one bye